Have you completed the message? I have. Thank you very much. Be sure that I can't see it. Hold it so that I can't possibly see what you have written. Uh, I'm going to ask you to watch this slate particularly and a mark of identification which I place upon the front of the slate. This also is ordinary enough bed. Now, keep your eye upon the slate, please. Your eye upon the star and concentrate your mind upon the name of the person that has departed. The name comes to me clearly. The spirit seems to whisper. Is that Emma? It is. Emma. That is right. Uh, Emma was born in the month of April. She was. She was, yes. Upon the fourth day of April. That is right. And the spirits tell me she was born in the year 1800 and... 1834. Yes. Is that 100% correct? It is. Emma was your great-grandmother, your grandmother? Oh, yes, your grandmother, to be sure. Now, uh, now I believe that you, you have confidence in my ability, haven't you? I do have. Yes, from now on, things should be easy. So you brought the $10 note with you, did you? For a donation to the spirit world? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to ask you to place it inside of this envelope, please and seal it up carefully. After doing that, it is important that you place it inside of this box. I'm going to place that box and ask you to put your hands on top of it, simply to psychometrize the box. At the same time, I'm going into a trance to see whether or not the spirits are willing to accept your offer. Yes, yes, spirits. Yes, I, I, I believe they are. Yes, I, I think they are quite willing to accept your donation. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll take that $10 note from off the envelope in a spiritualistic fashion, we'll simply burn your money. The spirits demand that I do that. It's part of the ceremony, and you don't mind, do you? No. After all, it's all for the good of the cause. Now, there it goes. The envelope and the money. I'll tell you what I'd like you to do. You take this address and place it in a small bag and tie it around your neck. You sleep upon that comfortably for four or five days. And you return to the seance parlor, and I will see whether or not the spirits have accepted your offering in its entirety. Most spiritualistic tricks are necessarily accomplished in the dark. The one I am about to offer is the famous table levitation trick, in which the table floats about freely in midair while the subject's hands are resting lightly upon the tabletop. The forces are weighing. Up goes the table, up, 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 and down again.